Welcome back to Mad Mondays. My guest this week is a hilarious comedian. She's a self-proclaimed expert on cleaning, and she paved the way for lesbian comedians everywhere. It's Suzanne Westenhofer. Mad Mondays! Suzanne, have you ever played a Mad Lib? Yes. Okay, great. This is a lot like a Mad Lib, but I don't want to get sued by Mad Libs. Um, so basically, I wrote this specifically for you. And I've written a story. I've left out some parts of speech. If you give me those parts of speech, together we're going to make a hilarious story. Are you ready to play Rad Libs? I am. Okay, I need a family member. Joni. Joni. Oh, I, you didn't mean my family name. Is it your sister, Joni? Yeah, sister. Sister Joni. Sorry, I, was, I got really specific. There are no wrong answers in a Mad Lib. I need an adjective. Spectacular. Yes. I need a, a plural body part. Toes. Yes. Uh, a number. 17. Plural noun. Oh, like any noun, right? Anything. Yeah, it could be anything. Um, popsicle sticks. Yes. This is going to be fun, I can tell. You have an interesting brain. This is fun. An exclamation. Eek! Uh, a question. Any question in the whole wide world. Are you my mother? <laughs> what a great book. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Um, plural noun. Um, shoes. Uh, a disease. Lupus. That's a more popular disease than I thought. We're talking about it because they, you know, the coronavirus. It was one of the things. Remember when they, were, when Trump was telling everybody to take that one hydro, whatever, and people who had lupus were upset because they were like, "We needed to live, you." F Stop putting it in out because they didn't have it. Yeah, that, I think that's why probably you're hearing it. I like it. Um, an adjective. Smelly. I knew you were gonna say smelly, and it's, it's a great thing. place to say it. Great place. An appliance. Refrigerator. Yes. Uh, an increment of time? 15 minutes. <laughs> an adjective? Sticky. Uh, a food? Muffins. <laughs> uh, an article of clothing? Oh, I'm glad it's working for you. It is. Know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm in on the joke and you're not. Uh, an article of clothing? Uh, hoodie. Uh, a unit of measurement? Like... A unit, any unit of measurement? Any unit of any measurement. Six yards. It's for, it, was, it was, that was correct. That was correct answer. A liquid. A liquid. Um, vodka. Yes. Excellent. Go with your favorites. There you go. Uh, oh, a smell. Coffee brewing. Yes. That's exactly what I was going for. Uh, a verb ending in I-N-G. Uh, skipping. A plural noun. Flowers. Aww. Uh, an occupation? Therapist. Yes. A guilty pleasure? Um, let's just go... I was gonna say, where did your mind just go? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go with, um... Now I'm gone. Masturbating. Masturbating. <laughs> it was the first thing that came to my mind. I'm just gonna be honest. And it is a guilty pleasure. Um, an adjective. Sexy. We have a story. Wait, you didn't have any adverbs at all. No adverbs in this story. Today, the story specifically written for you is called Cleaning Secrets Revealed. My sister Joni always told me that cleanliness is next to spectacularness. <laughs> but when it comes to cleaning, most of us don't want to get our toes dirty. Well, follow these 17 steps and before you know it, your house will sparkle like popsicle sticks so when guests come over they'll say eek are you my mother <laughs> <laughs> oh my god are you my mother that worked that almost works <laughs> i think it works really well can't wait to have guests come over eek are you my mother <laughs> uh tip number one did you know that that sponge you're using is probably covered in shoes yes <laughs> and instead of cleaning that sponge could be spreading lupus all over your kitchen <laughs> that's not good but there is a solution. Pop that smelly old sponge in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and voila, it's as good as sticky. <laughs> Tip number two. We've all had that stubborn muffin stain on our favorite hoodie. <laughs> Don't worry, just add six yards of vodka to your load of laundry and enjoy. <laughs> They'll come out looking like new and smelling like coffee brewing. 
Tip number three, unclogging drains. Most clogged drains can be fixed by skipping. <laughs> but sometimes your drains can become clogged with flowers. If that's the case, you might want to call a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Well, I hope my sister Joni's cleaning tips will brighten your day. Like she always said, a clean house is like masturbating. Sexy. <laughs> it's sort of uh, interesting how some of them actually fit. They fit so well. Those are great cleaning tips. I don't want to be spreading lupus all over my kitchen with a dirty oh sponge. <laughs> I'm go put the sponge in the refrigerator. It's going to work, though. It, it it's obviously it's your sister Joni's cleaning tip. She knows everything. She knows everything. Tell our viewers and our listeners uh, where they can find you and what you have coming up. <laughs> well, I'm a stand-up comedian, so as you probably know, I have nothing coming up. And oh, well, look out for that. No idea when we ever will have anything coming up, but when we open, I will be at shows. And if you see Suzanne Westenhofer, you should come and see me. In the meantime, no, wait, in the meantime, if you're the kind of person who's political and annoying and likes all that kind of stuff, join me on Twitter. Because I'm on it. Guys. Suzanne Follow Westenhopper. I'm the only Suzanne Westenhopper. If you get Suzanne Westenhopper, it's not like there's going to be another one. You go, is this one her? You've got it. The one, the only, Suzanne Westenhopper. Guys, follow, friend, like, um, and support her on Twitter. And uh, um, and you're welcome uh, because Suzanne Westenhopper is fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me, for making me laugh, for educating me, and for uh, teaching me some of your sister Joni's cleaning tips. I'm cyber hugging you. Oh, I want to hug you right back. This was great. Oh. Love you very much. Love I really you. Love you're the shit. Bad Mondays. You can listen to my entire interview with Suzanne right now on the Christy Knows Blank podcast. See you next week.